Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. So it applies for those placements for you. This, these messages are going to be general. So they may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, you can always check out your other placements to see what else comes up for you. We're going to look at you and your person and how they feel, how they see you and the relationship and all of that stuff. So, what's going on with Sagittarius? Okay. This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. All right. Sagittarius, give me more messages for Sagittarius. We have you deserve love. You are lovable. We have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. We also have soulmates. This is all good. All good. There seems to be a connection. What is that flying around? It's so annoying. Anyways, there seems to be a connection um, that is going pretty good for some of you. Um, even if there's like a separation or a disagreement it does seem to still be going strong or will be going strong in in the near future if you're single you could meet this person very soon but what's this person's energy towards sagittarius what's their energy towards sagittarius king of cups could be a aries leo sagittarius like yourself but Currently, for some of you, they're probably not accepting an offer or are not seeing what's in front of them, just kind of being sub stubborn and sulking. We do have the Ten of Pentacles, though, so there is that. There is that I still love you or I am still here, but it's just more like a, um, I'm just annoyed right now. So it seems like a temporary little spat is what I'm hearing. What Sagittarius energy towards this person? Oh my god. Okay. Wow, Sagittarius. I'm actually doing your reading before Leo and Aries because I really felt your vibe. All I could think in my head was Sagittarius. And your energy, as you can see, is all over the place. <laughs> so. We have the Hermits, we have the Three of Cups, the Fool. Could be dealing with a Virgo. You are wanting to take a new step with this person, another chance. You're wanting to reconcile, I see that. You really have nothing to worry about. It really just looks like a little, you know, maybe you just came here because you they haven't responded to your messages yet or something, but I don't see a major, major, major issue here. But let me see. But when I'm in the recent past for Sagittarius, you might be distancing yourself a little bit. But when I'm in the recent past, okay, some of you may have had a third party or your person did. But a lot of you are married. We've got the Ten of Pentacles coming out a lot. Could be to an Aries with the Emperor. But I see there may have been like someone interfering in the relationship at some point in the past. What's the energy of this connection? What's the energy of this connection going forward for Sagittarius? Ooh. A lot of... Oh my god. Really? Hold on a sec. Okay. So with the Knight of Wands, looks very passionate. It looks like there's going to be a lot of booty time. <laughs> Some fun, passionate fun here. Ooh, the Knight of Cups too. It looks really good here. This person could really be the one for you, regardless of what's going on at the moment. There seems you guys are going to make up very soon, like in the best way possible. <sighs> the Knight of Cups. They, they're coming forward with, with an offer. They also might tear your clothes off. Your back. 
let me look at these <laughs> let me look at these cards we do have passion here so don't be mad at me okay you see it's not lying it's not lying this is you and your person in the picture i know you guys might not be you know looking like them but let's see sagittarius give me some insight to sagittarius in their situation right now going forward as well some insight to sagittarius in their situation okay okay so we have not enough frustrated in relationship lack of confidence self-sabotage fear ego issues jealousy so yeah there could have been some of that in the recent past i do feel like that was what went on or could have caused some conflict here um addiction codependent obsession possession controlling has a block and restraint some of you you might have a block if this is you needing to let go of all those feelings and attachments and just um just avoid it and live in the moment not saying let your person go but if you are feeling these feelings like you're obsessively checking things and possessive and waiting for this person just breathe and let all of that go <clears throat> so they can flow back into your life very easily we have girl with a snake empath and narcissist paradigm there's a screaming child in the background they're having some kind of birthday party out there but being charmed or used enable and boundaries so be careful there might be and i'm getting the vibe that this could be your person's third party or your third party in the recent past with this energy someone someone who isn't someone who doesn't have your best interest at heart we have talking interested conversing more awaiting message arrives yay so the message you're waiting for will arrive it says i mean that's what it says text call email and hovering hoovering um some of you might have someone from the past who is still obsessed with you because the word hoovering and narcissist that those are narcissists terms you know so some of you may have a, an ex hovering around watching you still but let me take a look at your main spread here okay Sagittarius what's going on with Sagittarius what can Sagittarius expect in love? What's going on with Sagittarius and their connection? The Ten of Pentacles again. I feel this relationship is like generally and just like it has this foundation where it's good but there may just be some little issues on the surface you know because this ten of pentacles is like we are not leaving each other but we have some issues so let's see six of pentacles overall energy oh boy they're seeing you as a queen of wands so they're seeing you as your own energy aries leo sagittarius you could be dealing with a fire sign or a libra they the feelings for you are deep deep rooted like they, this card is no lie just like the rest of them the feelings are real and worth exploring soulmate yes this is your soulmate this could be the one i feel like you're just having a little a little what do you call it fuss a little disagreement but yeah they're seeing the relationship as the eight of swords so like i keep saying this can easily be resolved which is what the, the eight of swords is about she can easily escape easily get away but 
making it difficult, refusing to to make that move. So it could be this person just kind of not opening their mind and just seeing one little argument as the end of the world. That will pass, you know. We're the Empress. Some of you, there may have been, as I said, may have been a third party in the past and the, and the, the third party could be narcissistic, but it could also be this person's ex where they're really, they're really trying to avoid this ex because they may be narcissistic and hovering around and probably annoying you and just watching, but it could be vice versa. It could be your ex who's doing that. Um, so the seven of swords three of wands the waiting you know that this person's coming but the whole waiting and really like thinking about it and thinking about it and not letting it go that could be blocking you know so as i said it's gonna happen this is your person for life hopefully but for now definitely and you don't need to worry so you don't need to worry about when they're gonna come back if they're gonna come back you can just breathe now and let them flow back into your life that will make it easier and quicker okay but they it seems like they got away we've got the ace of cups here in the position of their wishes so they do wish to offer you love they do wish for reconciliation their next move is the six of cups this is reconciliation returning reconnecting with someone from the past or reconnecting with someone you love so there's no doubt about this you really don't have to overthink about this page of wands the position of what you need to know you can really just be excited about that new beginning you know move forward and just wait because we do as you see it says a waiting message arrives so you know it's coming don't need to think about it your outcome is the two of swords someone is needing to make a decision even after you guys get back on good terms why the why the empress okay we have these two cards here the two of swords again knight of cups so they are returning hold on this person is returning, but there's this kind there's kind of a block, a mental block here. I feel like you need to let go. Because sometimes a person can feel your energy and that can bring them comfort and make them not want to make any moves. When you start to pull away and just do you and just relax and let go and know that they're going to come back, that kind of clears the way. That's when they kind of realize that they miss you. And then they start making their way back why the empress why the empress oh my gosh why there are people involved here that your person doesn't want these people involved or this person involved but here we have a woman and a man this could all be one person with a whole bunch of personalities or aspects of their personality the king of swords in reverse is not a good person um it could be their mom it could be it, it this could just be someone who is just not for you guys this relationship so that person is showing up why the ace of cups yeah see they they're gonna start feeling left out in the cold once you start to let go and just breathe and do you they're gonna feel left out in the cold and they will return they're gonna notice the lack of communication. Okay. Why the two of swords? Why the two of swords? 10 of cups. Releasing. So someone's gonna, someone's gonna make a decision to release someone. So there could be another person for some of you. I am getting that vibe. But I get the vibe that this person doesn't want the other person because in the position of their fears, it seems like something that they want to get rid of. We also have the Ten of Wands where the, it seems they want to get rid of that load. They want to end it, but they may be afraid. I don't know if this is a married person that some of you are dealing with and they're afraid their spouse is going to take half 
or they're afraid their divorce is gonna be nasty but someone's afraid of their wife or husband here yeah, or somebody okay so let me see what we got here for you some advice for Sagittarius choose a new direction wait and my goodness Ugh. you are ready and peaceful resolution so choose a new direction as, the, as I've been saying like change turn your energy from this person this situation turn it to something else just for now and then wait and you'll see it will happen everything will change as long as you're not putting so much energy into it because that's kind of retract what do you call it repelling the situation repelling a person from coming towards you we've got peaceful resolution you're ready so i do see that happen i don't see this relationship being terrible i just see that you need to release let go wait maybe they're trying to deal with getting rid of this person this third party so like give them that time you know could all really work out for your benefits okay so you could be dealing with a leo we have libra energy here as well that's all for the main signs but we got pisces cancer scorpio aries leo sagittarius air and earth signs okay we got all the signs but mainly libra and leo okay so this is what i'm seeing for you sagittarius check your other placements if you want to know what else to expect leave a like if you enjoyed i hope this was helpful for you thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one